Now, Nigeria's controversial social media bill has passed the second reading on the floor of the Senate. The bill, which was sponsored by Senator Musa Sani from Niger State, is expected to curb the spread of fake news. Senator Sani says the bill is not intended to stifle free speech, but aimed at mitigating the risks associated with internet transmission. However, the bill did not go down well with some lawmakers as they claim there are enough laws in the nation's constitution to tackle hate speech and fake news. The bill passed through the second reading. This bill is not an attempt to stable free speech or dissenting views. It is rather an opportunity to address a growing threat which, left unchecked, can cause serious damage in our polity and disrupt peaceful coexistence. While the internet has democratized information, the fact remains that it has also been a weapon in the process. That is why governments across the world are trying to mitigate the risks associated with information transmission via internet networks by monitoring abuse, deliberate misconduct that is the essence of this bill. The advent of internet has provided humanity numerous benefits, including instant access to information, knowledge and learning, connectivity, communication and sharing, collaboration, access to a global workforce, and the new frontiers for business and trade. I think all of us here must rise to support this bill, to pass it into law, at least to regulate one aspect of our lives that is negative and will have very serious and dangerous consequences on the lives of members of the society. Fake news is dangerous. The spread of falsehood is even more dangerous. Therefore, Mr. President, we must rise to the challenge of picking up the courage and the political will to be able to deal with this at its infancy before it develops into a canker worm that will consume the rest of the society. I not only oppose this bill, I condemn it in its entirety. This bill is an attempt to surreptitiously introduce the sanction into our laws. Based on our Constitution Section 39, that guarantees freedom of uh, information and freedom of uh, speech. There is a Cyber Crime Act that deals with this uh, issue. There are also laws in the land that have to deal with uh, false information, libel, slander, and uh, peddling of uh, so-called fake uh, news. Every person shall be entitled to freedom of, of expression, including freedom to hold opinion and to receive and import ideas and information without interference. But subsection 3 says, after giving the right, it says nothing in this section shall invalidate any law that is reasonably justifiable in a democratic society. That's what the provision says, Mr. President. And that is the intent of the framers of our Constitution. I am not so happy that I stand today vindicated on the floor of this Senate regarding this law.